Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 14.4. Now, iOS 14.4 is currently on its beta stages. It's actually on beta 1, which was released last year. Yes, it was released on December 16th and since then we didn't have any new betas. Now, of course, it was holiday time and all that, so you can expect new betas and the release to come pretty, pretty soon. So in this video, we're talking about the new features of iOS 14.4, the release date, as well as battery life and performance of iOS 14.4. First of all, we're talking about the new features of iOS 14.4. There are not a ton of them, but there are some really important ones. First of all, we're talking about the anti-tracking privacy feature that Apple is implementing with iOS 14.4. Now, I didn't get any of these pop-ups, but I've seen posts, I've seen comments, and I've seen reports by people that are getting these pop-ups like this, maybe from like the NBA app or the Facebook app. And as you can see right here, basically now apps have to show you that they are requiring access to basically track you across other apps and websites as well. You can see an example right here. Of course, you can ask app not to track you, or you can go ahead and allow the app to, to actually track you. That's of course always your choice, but any app that wants to track you has to first show you that it wants to track you and it will track you if you allow it. So another feature can be found under the shortcuts app. You know that with iOS 14.3, Apple has brought back the option to set a wallpaper using shortcuts. Now it has another option. When you go to set a wallpaper using shortcuts, you will have here the option to enable or disable perspective zoom for those wallpapers that will be set by the shortcut. There is a new setting as well, which now can be found under accessibility. You go to voiceover and right here, you will find direct touch apps. So with voiceover, direct touch will allow voiceover to control apps directly without requiring you more interaction with the app, of course. So if you go here, you will find a list of all your apps. And of course, you can choose for which you want to enable this feature. Again, you can find it right here under the voiceover settings under accessibility. And of course, iOS 14.4, as you probably know by now, will bring the new handoff features for devices with a U1 chip. And that's, of course, the new HomePod mini and the iPhone 12 Pro, 12, 12 Pro, of course. So if you have those devices and have them updated to iOS 14.4, just notice that you have to have both updated to iOS 14.4, the HomePod and the iPhone as well, then you will get the new handoff features of iOS 14.4. Of course, as with every other update, we also have a ton of bug fixes and improvements for iOS 14.4. Now, based on my experience using this for almost a month now, it has been quite good. I didn't notice any like major like hangs or glitches or stuff like that. It has been pretty, pretty good. Of course, with 14.4, you can expect Apple to improve their software. Now let's move on quickly to the performance of iOS 14.4. So let's just go ahead and launch here Geekbench and we have some scores here to talk about. So if we go to Geekbench, here we go to history, we have CPU and here I have the latest two. I have this one, of course, on iOS 14.4 and then 14.3 right here. So you can notice the score. So a slight drop on the multi-core score. You can see that right here, a slight drop from iOS 14.3 and just a slight improvement on the single core score. So basically performance wise, of course, always based on Geekbench is the same as iOS 14.3. But again, we have to notice that this is only on beta one. So it will take a few more betas and probably it will improve quite a bit. Of course, when talking about performance, we have to talk about battery life as well. So in my experience with the iPhone 11 Pro right here, battery life has been good but not as good as iOS 14.3. Now, again, I know this is beta one and probably we will get better battery life once it gets released to the public and it goes through a few more beta stages, but currently battery life on iOS 14.4 beta one is not that good. And of course, not as good as iOS 14.3, but again, it should be improved with the next few betas and then the final release should be way better and hopefully battery life will get improved as well. Now let's talk about when can we expect the next beta 
of iOS 14.4 and of course when to expect the final release. So if we go to calendar right here we can see that December 16th was the day that beta 1 was released, the current beta and we are on the 9th right now and you can expect I believe beta 2 to come either on the 12th or the 13th of January, maybe even on Monday the 11th, but I expect it to come probably in the, of course, on the first three days of the week. So 11th, 12th or 13th will be the dates that Apple should release the next beta of iOS 14.4. Now, since it has been on beta one for such a long time, I expect Apple now to release betas more often and I can expect a beta three as soon as next week. That would be the 19th or the 20th. And then probably my suggestion, my expectance is that Apple will release iOS 14.4 on the first week of February. So you can expect it to be released on the 2nd or the 3rd of February. The first week of February, I believe, will be the date that Apple will release iOS 14.4 to the public. You can expect that to happen maybe in the in, even in the second week but being on beta for such a long time i believe apple will go ahead and release it very very soon so the first week of february should be the release date of the final version of ios 14.4 to the public and last but not least we're talking about whether you should update or not your device to ios 14.4 now of course if you're on iOS 14.3, I don't suggest you go ahead and update to iOS 14.4 beta. Maybe you want to try the public beta, try the new features, but I wouldn't suggest you do that. Just wait a bit, maybe until beta 2 comes in and we'll see how battery life is and all that. But I wouldn't suggest you update to beta from iOS 14.3. Once it gets released to the public, of course, then we will have more information about it. We will see how the battery life will improve performance and all that, even though performance is quite good. I don't have any complaints about it, but battery life can be better. So if you're on iOS 14.3, again, just hold down and don't update to iOS 14.4 beta just yet. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and all the informations regarding iOS 14.4. So expect a new beta to come early next week and the final release on the first week of february maybe even the second but i truly believe it should be the first week of february when we see the release of ios 14.4 to the public so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one